Now that we know the basic features of Google Sheets, we can get into scripting. So we're going to get into this environment where we can write instructions and make the, uh, make the Google Sheets application do interesting things. So what is scripting? Well, we can use scripting for a few different purposes within Google Sheets. We can interact with users. Uh, we're going to get into how you can create custom functions because if the functions that are built into Google Sheets don't do what you need, you can use custom functions to do interesting things. Uh, you can also use scripting to just extend the functionality of your application. So as you get more and more into your Google Sheets and building spreadsheets, uh, using scripting allows you to do some things that might not be readily obvious, you know, or might allow you to build, you know, more of an environment that, you know, you can draw better conclusions from or make more interactive. So the script editor can be opened very easily in your spreadsheet. If you go to Tools, Script Editor, that's going to open a new tab, and you're going to be right in the script environment then. And it's going to look something like this. Uh, up at the top, you can see you have your project name, and it's going to start off as Untitled Project. You have your code file on the left. We can see it's code.js here, and it's also open and showing here, so you can see that in the, the bottom right area of your screen. You have buttons that you can use to save, so you've got an automatic indentation button that's just going to format your code really nicely. You've got a save button. You've got triggers, which we're going to get into later. Uh, you have a run button, a debug button, and then you can select your function. You also have lots of different menus that are going to provide you lots of different options. So the one most important thing, the very particular thing that you should know is that uh, when you're writing code in AppScript, um, AppScript is very particular about the instructions that you give it. So uh, there's a way to do this. There's a way to do it that is accurate. And if you follow along with what we're doing in our videos, you should be okay. But in general, you've got to be very particular about the way you enter things. Um, different, different, uh, different keystrokes, different letters, different formatting, just the different ways that you can do things, it can cause the, your programs to not work. Now, you can always start over. You can always do it again. It's not really that big of a deal. But uh, in general, when you run into problems, a lot of times it's because there's a problem with your syntax, you know, the way you've entered your program. Now, we're going to start off by using Logger, and Logger is just a really, really simple tool that we can use. It's a simple uh, statement that we can tell the, the program to execute, and it's just going to give us some text back. It's just going to be outputting something that we need to see. So once we output this text, we can use View Logs to view the output. Pretty simple. Then we're also going to use variables. We're going to use really simple variables for now. Now, variables are just a place that we can store things, and they're declared with the var keyword, V-A-R. We'll declare variables, we'll put things into them, and then we'll, we'll use them again later. So variables all have names. Um, the names have to be letters, numbers, underscores, or dollar signs. Um, generally, they're usually letters and numbers, but it can't start with numbers. Your name for a variable can't start with a number. Uh, it, has to, it, um, it has to start with a letter or an underscore or a dollar sign, and then you can put numbers into it. But it has to start with some, uh, some letter or underscore or dollar sign. Uh, once you create a variable, you can set it equal to some value. So you can see at the bottom here we have var a is equal to some value I want to store. Uh, that's a text string. Uh, we call these strings when we're dealing with programs, and that just means that it's, it's some text that I want to you know I want to use later. And you can always reuse variables. I can create a variable, I can call it a name, and then I can reuse it again later. Uh, we're going to get into this in the next few videos. We're going to show how you can use these variables, how you can log messages, and how you can make the script environment run your programs. Uh, so stay tuned, um, and we'll, we'll get into some of the programming aspects of Google Sheets. Thanks for watching.